So let's see if we get the remains of all the mosquitoes from all into here of the car. Yeah. Right, like a couple of years, they had like like a huge decline in insects. I think this year they have been have been coming back a little bit. So I have a green lake, it's a little bit of a brown taint, I think. I've been here for quite a while, like this. I mean, it's a terrible heat wave, but in our region it's still around 30 degrees Celsius. Not too bad, but for me it's very hot. Okay, right here, it's a little bit windy. Some shadow, water is probably cold. Okay. Oh, it's all okay here. Oh, yeah, Sunday evening, it's getting a little bit colder this night. So, a little bit of cool down. As mentioned, our area here wasn't. It was hot, but yeah, like normal hot, like uh, I think like around 30 degrees Celsius, and like uh, I think like above 35 is considered extreme hot. And we had it in some regions, but not here up in the mountains, but yeah, like hot air coming from Spain and such. Uh, yeah, so some regions in Germany and yeah, doing the Dutch angles yet now. Yeah, um, the Netherlands didn't didn't put that much influence onto me. Yeah, so I'm taking the night train once more, and like like, um, the line is new, but it actually does not stop in our city. So actually, have to go to Göttingen, famous city where one of my work colleagues actually lives, but a famous city around the corner with a very famous university so uh, yeah so that's where I'm going and then I have to wait like two hours there from like midnight to one o'clock which is probably going to be boring and yeah uh, see so haven't been on that on that spe uh, specific train station in a while and it's it's a smaller city so but many students so yeah, probably find a pub or something, but I'm not really that pub person, so, yeah, was like, yeah, it's like two hours there. Yeah, mm. also my wife was working this weekend, and like, um, many people who we met in Amsterdam got corona right afterwards, so, I, I was feeling sick last week. Like, we had like what, the one holiday on Thursday, and I was sleeping all the time. And on Friday, I had terrible headaches. Yeah, just, uh, uh, was really not too productive, but uh, came a little bit, little bit better now. So, yeah, let's go on the on the. On the train, although I streamed like the first time in like two months or something, I really hadn't quite energy since I think pretty much since we moved back from the home offices. Right? Like at work, my internet connection is not as good, yeah, but I installed a cable there, so well, and see if that's a possibility. Also. Like the green screen I was looking to buy, I just saw it like, well, like 40% off, off the price I actually put my hand onto it. I think like, like, it's quite noticeable if you look like in streaming equipment and such, the prices have gone down quite a lot since the pandemic. Yeah. Yeah. Train driver went A1. It was so but so the train without lights and anything. Yeah. <laughs> Guess he'll return in a couple of minutes. Right. <laughs> 
something here on the board. Car dealership. Uh, a new car dealership now. All the poor, all the cars out of the building somewhere. It's quite like having the, the really cheap um, house prices here. It's really interesting at the moment then. Yeah. Or we kind of had been trendsetters because many of the houses had been derelict in really bad shape. Yeah. The yeah. yeah. rocks and relegated and much more much less empty out of the world. It's the same thing as the same thing. But still not quite like. There's still some dynamics here on the market. Like some stores, new stores open, and other stores close. Mm -hmm. Can hear the train already on the. I don't know, it's coming right over the corner. Here quite quite a bright earlier from vibration in the in the uh, energy cables. If you want to travel to history or experience a own adventure, welcome in Göttingen. Yes, Burger King opened till. Zero o'clock, and there's like 70 minutes to wait for the train, and hopefully, a little bit sleep in that. Yes, more thunderstorm. It's one o'clock. Oh, the sound is quite interesting. So it's raining. Uh, yeah, my wife was shaming me for using the bus, so I pumped up my, on my cycle and ran for the first time today. In Two years or something and yeah my combination of cycling rain protection gear and hairstyle it was somewhat ill considered so yeah, but it was not too bad overall so, quite okay so it's almost weekend it's like um, the summer festival of the school is today and yeah actually I think it's like almost perfect weather because it's like almost raining but I'm not crying so it's not as hot and not as sunny which is always a welcome thing for me. Uh, actually I, I, I haven't seen my son as as brown as he got with, with the sun he probably going to the going to the playground almost every day or something. I'm not quite sure. But yeah. Well, maybe it's the first real <laughs> summery summer, summer in the world. We had like a couple of rainy ones there, or like like not quite as, as hot. And also like like um, with the swimming and going to the pool and such. It hasn't been as much, I guess. I think no. <laughs> quite strange. Uh, yeah. So. Go catch my daughter and then we go to the school fest. But probably little to no filming. Oh. My son. Oh, we need new glasses. Yeah, don't think so. Another week. 
same problems as ever. Machine complaints. Yeah. Yeah. The bottle is too crushed. So, got the seed. They planted the, yeah. the pink one, I think. Yeah. <laughs> See, a couple flowers are already gone. Oh. In the next stadium, I think they they like they they plant them in a way that there should always be some, but maybe it's also due to the people passing through here. Yeah, I saw on the local television that they planted the pink ones this year, and the red ones came from the years before. There was like some sad seed still left. And that makes that mixture, which was not really intended, but quite beautiful. Like on the way here, we saw some just like some extra fields outside, which are much more colorful comparatively. It's probably not as much mixed in like here with some grass. And bees and insects everywhere. But that's something which has come up in the recent years, it's like a flower strip they put by the sides of the fields, um, mainly to, to give living and feeding space for insects. I think it's maybe even raising productivity overall, due to the bees being attracted and such. So the poppy snail is coming. So this is, how's it called? Pandua. Mm. It's usually blooming yellow. And I like where the, the oil is made from. Like, Wops is the drum name. Um, which is not very flattering, but yeah, the. the uh, Earlier in the year, when you drive to Germany, you see the yellow fields, and that's all that here. It's mainly used to produce oil and oil, and I think a little bit for animal feed and such. And that's the, the poppy snail, just like like a drum drop thing. That eating thing there is called a, a poppy snail. So, that's that car so slow. It's too. I think last year it was like somewhat limited opened, and two years ago it was closed due to the pandemic. Yeah, and this year it's back and working full, full swing. So another C. One of of wheat and grass. Uh, wheat horizon here. Quite nice. It would be not that mountain or hill for a while. Still feel my, my feet from from tripping in Amsterdam. But it's much better now. Oh, oh. Oh, like my, like my ankle or something. And the tendon is a little bit broken, but since my teens, so the tendency to like hurt myself every one and a half years or so. So it's usually never in sports. It's usually always walking around or sometimes even standing around. 
strange. That we can see over the horizon to the Hessian Swiss. There's like a, a dog bearded club around. So my wife was a little bit preoccupied before. There's so many dogs, but uh, seems to be some kind of maybe it's a poodle, poodle or something. Uh, being got bitten by a dog when I was like two. So, like, like, I'm not afraid of dogs anymore, but like, I'm probably never going to have one myself. I guess. Yeah, who knows? It's like very. Very deeply sentimented as a, as a cat person, and just be on my hand. Yeah. Be or bumblebee, for sure. Now that felt really looks unassuming from here. Obviously, already gone. Uh, so that one there looks a little bit more pronounced. Kind of could pick out some places down the mountain. I said, "Oh yeah, there, there's the Barfoot Trail, like the, the lower house on the mountain, the lowest house on the mountain. It's around there. Yeah. And there's the, that's like the Animal Park. Maybe going after here. You know, it's Ben Smith and my wife, I guess." Apparently a giant lost his rucksack here. Oh. Then my daughter's shoe broke and we had to go and buy a new one. Yeah. Yeah. City. It's like Saturday 3 p.m. and like 80-90% of the stores are already closed. I've never noticed this uh, old mayor's office and it's like a description uh, Des Brandes Raub, 1637 Jahre 1660 Durch Rach und Rauch in Aschwege, Eschwege ist Gebrauch in Liebesriedenszeit Ist das Rathaus stehend gemacht so It's like this thing burned down Uh, 1637, so in the 30 years of war, it was probably burnt down, and in the peacetime it was rebuilt. So the uh, rebuilt year of the 1660, yeah, very similar to the houses we found in Amsterdam recently. So, very similar period of time, very different style of building. So, like in Amsterdam, they used uh, all that wood for for anchor sharing, anchoring the houses in the ground but yeah, you see like some odd angles around here as well like we said I cannot really read room letters because somebody has skipped the renovation BPMD CCC CCL one won by Rolf by Zapfel Costs a huge fortune. There's another example of look at how much is like building like material gave it, how much is like nature taking its curves and costs. Yeah, but like like here. Something has to happen to be, has to happen there. I can't imagine they build right as it is there. It's like there are two houses that connect. So we went to the renovation and we uh, united those two houses. So then the windows look, see the windows are totally the same. So maybe it's like a renovation where they only, only let the, the front alive. Build a totally new house in the back. <laughs> Who knows?
Like sometimes you take a turn in a way where you never have been, and then you find something totally new. And that's like, yeah, that's like the, the music school of the city. This tower is the remaining of a can, uh, for, um, quite sure how the name is in English. Canisian, probably a nun, a nun monastery which had been here to like 1527 or something. There's that Bismarck Tower we visited a while ago. Yeah, the lake. Dark Death Lake. There's the car, one of the cars is here. Hessian Swiss. And then it's there. Umbrella River. Yeah. It seems to be a fair round. Yeah, Sunday has proven to be another day of inaction. <laughs> like, huh. a tiny amount of chores has been done, but nothing substantial. And yeah, I'm going to take a train to Frankfurt now and change train there. With hopes of getting some sleep in the train. Yeah. Okay, I had, or actually, I think like Friday night, yeah, I, like the, the new season of Umbrella Academy came out, and yeah, that was jolly fun. But yeah, like binge watching the whole thing in like two days, really, it's really not, not a good thing for sleep and mental health, I guess. That was. Yeah, goofy fun. In a way. Yeah. So, let's take the train. Light and dark, deep. <laughs> 